gentlemen a bungle hope you're doing well and i hope you're having a great day today we're going over the Pedersen rifle gold order weapon they can pick up for the allies and the invasion of normandy campaign as well as the battle of tunisia battle of tunisia campaign now diving in with no view you may be asking yourself bungle what is the Pedersen rifle well pretty much this was supposed to be a replacement for the m1903 springfield this is a semi-auto rifle that you find for the Allies in the Invasion of Normandy and, of course, Battle of Tunisia, Battle of Tunisia campaign. This can be equipped by the flame trooper, the engineer, the bomber, the trooper, and, of course, your radio operator class. So diving into the performance, real question, you know, Bungle, how does a Pedersen rifle perform? Well, it's a semi-auto rifle with a 10-round magazine. This rifle is a self-loading lever-action rifle. So if you want to compare it to, let's say, the M1 Garand, or of course, the M1941 Johnson, this pretty much performs the same way. You basically fire your shots, and then you will have a quick reload to your next magazine. Now, one thing to note with the round fires, the .276 Pedersen cartridge, the stop and power on this weapon is pretty strong. You will down opponents usually in one or two hits. When we talk about fire rate on the Pedersen rifle, I would go to argue that it is very, very strong. In my opinion, I don't think this weapon has been nerfed compared to a lot of other semi-autos in the game, like the M1 Carbine, Carbine, or the Gure 4143. Now, one thing to note that there's a big buck. If you're trying to shoot from cover, you're trying to lean or whatever, you'll notice for whatever reason your sight picture gets blocked by, I imagine, the magazine feed or something, because you basically can't see where you're firing. And at that point, your shots are getting like hit or whatever, like the shots are shooting at the magazine feed. I don't know what the heck's going on, but basically you can't hit anything when that happens. So if you're trying to shoot from cover, you're trying to lean around and everything like that, it happens all the time. I don't know why, like no one's really self-reported it yet, but I guess I'm going to be the first one to bring this issue up. So if you're trying to shoot from cover or whatever, it is a bugged weapon currently. Now diving out to, is it worth it? I would say that this is a great alternative to the M1 Garand or the M1941 Johnson. If you do not have these weapons a lot, or you play with these weapons, you like the way they play, you like the way they perform, and you're just interested in, hey, but I want to get a gold order weapon, well, maybe consider picking up the Pedersen rifle. I feel that this weapon is very, very strong. It is a good gold order weapon, in my opinion, especially if you play for the Allies in the Invasion of Normandy or the Battle of Tunisia campaign. But other than that, I've reached this point in the video, and if you're in possibly a new subscriber, well, I hope today is the day that I earn your subscription. Every sub and mass the like button does help me with the YouTube algorithm. Whichever sub returning viewer, let me know your thoughts. Other than that, I hope you all have a great day. Thanks for stopping by. Take care.